Nick Pullen, Brad Gallagher and Joe Cater. And on the interchange bench, it is George Flanagan, Eben Skur, Jack Brown and Levy Enzongu. John Kiat makes five changes this afternoon. There's no place for defogging Johnston, Thomas Doyle, Adam Rooks and Liam Kirk. And as we said, Dan Wake Pullen, who made his debut last week, he gets his first start of 2020. And it will be Jordan Lilly who will get proceedings underway here. So Oldham will have first use of the ball and they will play up the slope here at Bowerfall. The referee from Castleford, he was the man in charge last Sunday when Bradford defeated Underbank Rangers by 22 points to nil. And as we said, John Kia, he, in the opening two games of the season against London and Featherstone, he'd managed to resist change uh, in calling up Lee Radford and, and taking the offer of those Jewel Ridge players. And this afternoon, Joe Cater and Jack Brown will make their Bradford Bulls debut. So Oldham on the halfway line, third tackle gone. Inside the Bradford half now with... Phil Joy, and Phil Joy is going to punch a hole, but he's brought down there by Hallis and Danwake Pullen. There's going to be an early kick here from Dave Hewitt. It goes a similar feat this afternoon with the scrum 10 metres out. Just come out of the scrum there, Joe are now in possession 10 metres out, the first tackle there. But an opportunity for a strong start and a real chance to put a marker down this afternoon, like we saw from John Keir's side last year. Steve Crosser goes within inches of the Oldham line. As Sam Hallis... In at dummy half as Crosser gets up, plays the ball. Hallis goes himself. He's got the ball down, it's a try. Bradford with the first try and Sam Hallis has barged his way over from close range. And what a start for the Bradford Bulls. Sam Hallis, first try of the new season. And that has come from that Lee Kershaw error. Hallis picked it up out of dummy half. And there was nobody there. Connection sticks. Early try to Hallis. Mills with that left boot to the right hand side of the post and that one will go sail between the post and Rowan Mills has added the extra two points. They got one for the full back to pick up and unfortunately for Alderby couldn't keep hold of the ball to give Bradford another opportunity when they looked to have restricted Bradford to just about 20 metres that set. Some really solid defence undone by an error at the back again for Oldham. So Matt Diskin won't be happy with that but they'll need to try to show that same defensive resilience to keep Bradford at bay here. Bradford from that scrum, going down the middle with Joe Cater. Cater brought down underneath the Oldham post here. Bradford leading 6-0. Are they about to go back to back? Hallis to Crossley. Crossley! Oh, Crossley's just took four players. He says, get out of the way. It's the human bulldozer. And it's Oldham nil. Bradford Bulls 10. Use the app. And we'll keep you up to date with the latest scores. Huddersfield Giants, top of the table, playing Wigan. Nil-nil there. Mills adds the extra two. And here, it's Staley Bridge. It is Oldham nil. Bradford Bulls 12. And out now, second tackle gone. Hallis has options to the left, gives it to Crossley. Crossley takes that line on once again. And Steve Crossley, is he about to go over for try number two? No, he's not. He's wrapped up and brought back in the field by Gareth Owen and James Beckett. But Crossley will get a quick play of the ball in. It's along the floor, trapped by Lily's foot. Picks up, finds Pickersgill. Pickersgill beats one, two, three, four. Pickersgill to the line. Pickersgill, a sensational try. Oh, my word, Brandon Pickersgill. He took on half the Oldham side. We've had eight minutes gone on the clock. And it's now Oldham nil. Bradford Bull 16. Well, whatever John Keir has done this week at Tong, it is almost certainly working. Kick predictor at 100% again. From in front, Rowan Mills, free from free. And Hallis Crossley Pickers, Gill have given the Bradford... He had to put himself behind that ball there, was Danny Bridge and James Beckett. Good defence from Oldham after those early free tries, but here goes Anthony England, like a giant, just swatting away the Oldham defenders, and he's five metres out now from that Oldham try line. Fourth tackle coming up here for the Bradford Bulls. Hallis to Crossley, Crossley along the line to Mills. Mills drops the shoulder, pirouettes his way towards the line, and he's held up on the fifth and last tackle. What will the Bulls do here? It goes from Hallis to Cater, and Cater on his Bradford Bulls debut he will get try number four there's a shake of the head from Matt Diskin he can't believe generating that momentum for themselves a real bit of intelligence and brilliant execution from Rowan Mills down the hill kicks down early in the tackle count and from then on a repeat set and Bradford with another clinical attacking set near the Oldham line they go over uh, and Rowan Milne's kick goes through the middle of the post. It's 24-0 Bradford. Second phase defence there as Bradford now move it in front of the post with Levy Enzongo. Enzongo fronts up, attracts goals. 
Also, Kershaw comes in at the side. And Oldham defending for the lives. I suspect a fifth try here early in the second half for the Bulls. Might just put this result beyond doubt as it goes now towards Milnes. To Pickers go out wide. A chance for Manny Dawson-Jones. And it's a walk-in at the corner. He will have try number four of the season. But it's not going to count. Forward pass. Ten metres out from that Bradford try line. Fourth tackle gone. One tackle remaining here for the horse and Matt Disk inside as a short pass goes over towards Danny Bridge and Danny Bridge has gone over, he's crashed over the line and here you go for Dan Abram. He was two from two last week in that 52-12 defeat to witness and this one has gone between the posts and all of a sudden Oldham, they perhaps sense Jordan Lilly. A short restart, Pickers goes underneath it, Pickers goal takes it, finds the support here, the Bulls can't score from the kickoff, can they? Surely not, Eben Skur carries it in, and he's conceded, oh he's won a penalty, we thought he'd conceded a penalty for losing the ball, but the referee is going to say that has been stolen. In the Sheffield Eagles at home, looking for win number one. Pulse kick predictor, 84%. Again, right in front, and Rowan Milnes with that left boot, five from five this afternoon, and here at Staley Bridge, Celtic FC, they have one more tackle remaining. Steve Crossley and Brad Gallagher in defence. Wilkinson to Hewitt, Grubbers kick behind. It is going to be a try to Oldham. It's the second of the afternoon to Danny Bridge. There's still time here for Oldham. On Bradford Bulls live on Pulse 2. Dan Abram, can he pilot this one between the posts? Gives it a delicate little nudge. And yes, he does. Oldham 12, Bradford 26.